Hey everyone, <clears throat> this is Shane Eidelman again. Uh, believe it or not, try to guess where I'm at here. Any guesses? Any guesses? I won't tell you just yet. I am in the Mojave Desert. What is going on? Uh, anyway, uh, this is my favorite spot to work out. Some of you have seen the videos when it's nice and hot out. It's not hot today. I am freezing. Uh, and it was it was hard getting up to this point, but I want to just share a quick video with you because most people quit New Year's resolutions, you know, within a week or two after they start. When I was back in the gym business, the busiest season was the, was the first three weeks of January, and then people just start to bail out. Um, so I want to just offer some some points that might help. Uh, I don't know if I should walk or not. Um, well, let me just keep the sun out of my eyes here. But uh, why it's cold. Anyway, I want to share some points with you. Number one, you have to remember that all of us uh, fell at some point. Uh, those who've lost weight and kept it off have struggled. They fought, they've gained weight back, they haven't lost weight, they've had health issues, but they get up and they fight again. And that was kind of my whole point of this video is I was not looking forward to doing this. This changed my uh, plan immensely. So I put on boots and waterproof socks and headed out and still want to get my workout in because that's part of succeeding in life, whether it's spiritual goals, uh, perseverance, um, perseverance and commitment, discipline, all these things we don't talk about anymore are so important. For example, you might need resolution is to get back in church, read the God, word of God more and put on worship and you might do good for a few days, but then you drift back and you just give up. Let me encourage you, don't give up, get back on track. That's really what's, that's the difference maker between those who succeed and those who almost succeed is they get back up, even when it snows in your, on your desert, on your desert trail here. Uh, you just keep, you just keep walking, you keep moving forward, whether it's health and weight loss goals, even if you gain a pound instead of lose a pound, you get back on track. Uh, and, and I'm talking to the men actually tomorrow on this area of, of purity and falling forward and fighting the good fight of faith. The enemy wants to serve us with a um, notice like the DMV gives you when a vehicle is out of commission. And he, the enemy wants to discourage us and bring in disappointments and then we just quit and give up. So here's what you need to know about New Year's resolutions, health related, spiritual related. Uh, spiritual is obviously the priority, but it's going to be challenging. There's going to be obstacles. You've got to prepare for those setbacks. Uh, for example, uh, when life gets chaotic, maybe go do intermittent fasting. Um, when things aren't working out like you planned, instead of getting upset, grumbling, complaining, persevere through, have a joyful heart, get back on track. It's all about persevering through difficulties. It's all about disciplining the body to do things it doesn't like to do. It's all about staying committed. I made this commitment and I'm going to see it through. So I want to just encourage you, New Year's resolutions. Uh, you don't have to quit. You don't have to give up. What you have to do though is be prepared for the journey. The journey is difficult. It's challenging, but the pain of discipline far outweighs the pain of regret. So I want to encourage you this morning, whether you've fallen in the area of addiction, uh, sexual purity, uh, weight loss and health, whatever it is, get back up and fight again. I I'm telling you, my, my life is marked with just as many failures as successes. <laughs> the difference is you just got to keep getting up and fight again. And, and uh, in this area, I know many people, the number one uh, goal right now is going to be uh, weight loss, when it should be spiritual health, but it's going to be weight loss. And uh, you have to look at weight loss and as a lifestyle change. <clears throat> you can't go on a 30-day diet, you can't buy this belt, you can't try the keto, the paleo, the no carb, the low carb, the high protein, the vegan, the vegan, uh, vegetarian, the raw. I'm gonna, let me try this. You need to make health a lifestyle. That way it sees you through to the end. I'm not gonna try this for 30 days or 60 days, and then when this period, and, because here was, here's what happens. Okay, as soon as this is over, I'm gonna go back to junk food. I'm gonna go back to all this stuff that, that caused all these issues. And that's already the, you're already, you're already set up to fail before you even start. So look at his lifestyle changes, getting up, persevering, discipline, fruit of the spirit, by the way, self-control, uh, staying committed and putting first things first, prioritizing. With that said, uh, we're excited to announce, um, I, after 20 years, I rewrote my book, What Works When Diets Don't. What Works When Diets Don't. Now, it's not, it's not a spiritual book. I focus on, on God a lot more in my other books, but this is what works, what doesn't, and why when it comes to weight loss. 
also feasting and fasting, how to fast properly, and also help, I'm addicted. All three of those, uh, all three of those, we're gonna, we're, are available as a free download. I think on Smashwords, Barnes and Noble, you can find these as free downloads. Other places we tried to go free and they just shoot us back up to $1.99 or, or something. We can't get free on everything. Um, and the print on demand is a little bit as well, but these books will help you immensely because the, the diet book, What Works When Diets Don't, is focused on weight loss and staying motivated keeping your eyes set on the goal, not the challenge. And then the other two books will help to complement that. So we're hoping to release that one on January 1st, 2020. Uh, it's already being edited right now and uh, we're gonna upload it soon. Uh, obviously you can get an older copy uh, that's available as well on the links I will share in the description line. But I wanted to just encourage you this morning, even if you're watching this, oh wow, that's a lot of snow. A month later or way after the fact, or the whole point is get back up and fight again all of life or all of life is like a race with ups and downs and all and all you have to do to win is rise each time you fall i love that poem the race so hope to see you next time and i'm tuning out here in chile southern california in the mojave desert so again visit those free downloads um in the description and uh, they're on smashword barnes and noble and the other links uh there, there's a small fee for those so hope to talk to you soon thank you